Hi, Cancer. I'm here to do your reading for February. And the deck I'm using is the Fairy Tarot Cards by Dorian Virtue and Red Lie Valentine. They're very beautiful cards. And the deck led me to a freeform reading that I'm going to do. So, first I'm going to do three cards in a row and then I'll draw four cards below it and then another row of three cards and since it's the month of love because it has Valentine in it this last row will be strictly for love and I'm putting that face down until we get to that all right so let's start at the beginning where we have three of winter, which is three of swords, two of summer, that's two of cups, four of autumn, four of coins, eight of autumn, eight of coins, the high priestess, ten of spring, ten of wands, and five of autumn, five of coins. So starting out the month, there is some heartache. There is some, some situation that has brought you sadness that you need, to, you need to heal from it. It caused you a little bit of pain, and you need to reach out to the people around you, the ones you love, the ones you care for, because there is a love. There is a love around you that will help you heal from whatever this this heartache was, this heartbreak was. You are in the process of building up your resources. What you have at this time, you are holding on to tightly. You are making sure to watch how you spend your money and how you take care of your bills and your budget. In the same time, the same process, you are building up your skills and trying to build your build your work, your your level at your job. You are building up your talent, your skills, and working harder, longer hours. You may be getting an apprenticeship. You may be. Um, taking classes at this time, learning something new on the job. And until this, the training is complete and you start getting more resources, more money for your skills, you are holding on and budgeting really well. You're listening to your intuition throughout the month, which is really good because because you are going to need it throughout the month to to um, budget your time and your resources and balance all these responsibilities and and duties and tasks that you have in your personal life along with your work responsibilities you need to be on point. You need to listen to yourself, your body, your intuition. You need to meditate and stay grounded at this time. The reason you're trying to build up your your finances and you're holding on to what you have is it looks like some kind of bill came in, some kind of obligation that has put you out for a little bit and you are getting above water again you are starting to starting to um, get a savings and and grow grow it substantially where you will feel comfortable where you can have this spare time and 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 let go of some of these duties that you have taken on give them back to whoever gave them to you 
and work on this relationship that is coming in. This could be the reason you have this heartache, this heartbreak right there. It could have been some kind of painful bill or obligation that hurt when it came due, when it came out. And you are taking care of your responsibility at this time. Your obligations. You're working really hard and focusing on your job and your resources. Let's look at your love for the month of February. You have release, which is the death card. The six of autumn, which is six of coins. And six of summer which is six of cups. So that is definitely a transition. You have two sixes in your love. There is a transition. There is something that you realize about yourself that you are letting go of. Some, some, um, And it could be because you have thought fondly of this, the way life used to be. And then you realize that you no longer have to be that way. It's no longer going to be that way. You need to to um, grow up. You need to evolve. You need to take that next step in your evolution and you're in your maturity. And it's time for you to move on. And that will help you acknowledge what once was and to release it and to heal from it and clear up that space. Remember it, of course, because that's how we, we need to learn lessons. We need to remember things that are fond, but then evolve and, and replace it with a new way of doing things. In this relationship, in your love, you could be releasing a love that no longer serves you and moving on. But it does look like there is going to be someone that you have a, a um, give and take with, a really good balance with. Like you will do favors for them and they will do favors for you. It's a really good friendship. It's equal. It's non-judgmental. Non, um, it's very, very um, nurturing type of relationship that you do have. I don't think it's with this one that you are releasing. If this is a relationship you are releasing, this is a different relationship. This is more of a friendship, uh, more of a love for a friend, like you would have a love for your child or your your um, your parents. It's more like that, like a family love that you you really. But it could be a coworker. It could be a neighbor. It could be a friend. But that's this type of love that you have at this time, and they are there helping you. They see what you are going through and the transformation you are undergoing, and they are actually helping you at this time. Because I'm sure you have helped them when they went through their transformation and their changes. But don't dwell on these fond memories. Do remember them and, and cherish them and learn from them and heal from them. But do not live in the past. You need to live in the present and to grow and add to your, your you. No one could be you better than you. So you need to add to you, to grow, to evolve. Looks like you are going through a lot of work in, in February. A lot of work, literally, where you are building up your, your base, your core. And you have a lot of spirituality. So you can always turn to your religion, to your meditating, and to your praying, and listening to your inner intuition, because it has done you right, and it will lead you in the right direction. 
I hope you have a really good month of February and bless you all.